we're just relaxing, taking it easy on a Friday. Happy Friday! Welcome to my studio. I'm your artist. I am your hostess with all the toastesses to do toasts <laughs> when I'm at a party, of course. My name's Kim Overholt, and it is my channel here at Overholt Art and Entertainment Studio. And I'm here to help you have a little bit of fun with art. And if you want to know a little bit more about the art that I do, look me up. At my website, you know, Fancy Graphics, I got the Fancy Graphics going on. Hi. So, again, welcome to Kim Overholt's Art and Entertainment Studio. And uh, today is Friday and it's the end of the week. And I hope you've had a great week. It's been a very, very exciting week for me. And I'm going to keep it kind of nice and short today just because, oh, I have so much to do before we get going into the weekend. I don't know what your plans are for the weekend, but I have got a few things going on and uh, it requires a lot of organization. So um, as you can see, I've been trying to get <laughs> next to forever for, for, for organization. And uh, the one thing that I've always learned about being an artist is that we have our own kind of organized chaos. And I guess that's what I've got going on. They don't call me KO for nothing like chaos, KO. <laughs> Kim Overholt. There we go. Yeah. Knockout. No, I don't think so. No, no. It's been a while since I've been called that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I had an interesting week. I had a great time at the theater. I had a great time just wandering around and being myself and doing the things that I enjoy and being able to share it with you. I, you know, that's the best thing ever. <laughs> So I appreciate you being here, and uh, like I said, I won't keep you very long today, so it's it's Discuss or Draw Friday. I was just looking on the uh, um, on my Facebook feed, and it was saying that uh, uh, this new bill, the C-11, whatever, it, it's caused some of our um, major places, like the Bell, to be starting to lose... Um, employees because of uh, and journalists for that matter because they they don't want you to have that kind of thing going on in Canada anymore where you get to know what's going on <laughs> like nobody's going to be digging for any kind of truths around here anymore because you know it caused a lot of issues with what's going on around here <laughs> But we make our way through anyways. We'll, we'll find a way around all the madness. And I promise you, if I hear anything that's going to be kind of interesting in the line of artists and what we are capable here, even of just on um, on YouTube, for, uh, for that matter, because uh, if they're censoring journalists for doing their job, I can't imagine what they could say about people who just want to be out there and showing people stuff that they do and how they feel and things that they that interest them without, you know, having to kind of maybe step on a few toes. Is that possible? I don't I didn't think that it was possible. But then again, I never thought I could ban from Twitter either. And uh, lo and behold. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not going back. So, I mean. People are like, oh, well, you know, don't be a goof about it. You can go back. I mean, you don't. I was like, no, you know what? I've spent 13 years um, on Twitter just trying to uh, get my business going with uh, Niagara Art Parties and KimOverholt.com. And I found over the 13 years, it helped me. I can count more times on my hand than it actually uh, helped me with my business. So it's not really worth it. I've gotten more uh, people through my LinkedIn than I have through my Twitter. So I'm, uh, and thusly, uh, as for Facebook, um, it gets my name out there, but it gets it to the people that I know already. So they know about me and whether or not they want to draw or paint or whatever with me is that I guess they're, prerequisite whatever they want to do because I'm always ready and willing and able to help you have a good time with paint it's just up to everybody else that's in my news feed if you will if they want to join along with me and paint along with me that kind of thing uh, I I encourage a lot of the people that I that I follow um, if they've seen me like posting things all the time and I encourage people that also are in the same kind of boat with me you know kind of getting their, the word of the, their art out there too, so that everybody has um, more scope 
of what kind of art is out there and what you are capable of, what any artist is capable of when they've got the right skills and the right tools put together, right? So, yeah, um, it might be a little bit more, um, we might be able to share a little bit more here uh, than I would be able to say on my Facebook, never mind the, the Twitter is no longer happening. So YouTube is where it's at usually for uh, finding out all the stuff that I'm doing for my art too. So I'm usually pretty live and I keep live here. And I'm also thinking a few other places that may be of interest that have uh, popped up over the years that, um, you know, may, uh, may help my business. So I might be looking to other platforms to find places to do my business in. If this, I mean, I've been on Facebook and on uh, Instagram and I'm still on, um, I'm, well, I'm obviously I'm here. So I'm in, but I know that there'll be new places. Like I've tried Rumble and uh, uh, to play with that a little bit. And I'm also looking into doing a little bit more one-on-one -on -one with a little bit of live with other people involved. So I'm, I'm trying to, uh, up my horizon, if you will, try to make it bigger and better. If you can, if I can, if I can, if I can, and uh, try and make it fun for everybody else too. And this is what, what it comes down to is like, what matters to you, what you see, if you want to see more truths or you want to see more fiction, you know, this is what it is right here. This is what you get the chance to uh, make a difference. Yeah. You can show people, showcase your your own abilities or you can tell people what you are interested in, what keeps you motivated something to try and uh especially for for youtube for the how to and style because that's where i am uh for most of the people who do this it's kind of like you want to show off your artwork and how you do stuff and this is how you live the life of an artist like myself so yeah on the edge all the time right yeah it's right on the pulse of niagara yeah <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah. never mind here nor there um you know i'm always trying to get my art out there to to you guys and if you're interested please contact me and uh like i've been watching on y files if you ever watch y files it's a pretty cool thing and he always says you know um press the little buttons and subscribe because uh if you like what you see uh, I can get out to more people and maybe get more people involved in doing kind of the same thing that I do and helping all artists become like more able to do art. <laughs> Just getting out there. That's the main thing. We got to get out there and we got to show that we've got faces too. Um, so cheers. Um, let me see if we can find you a cheer. Hold on. I used to have all kinds of stuff for doing that. Oh, where did I put it? Oh, oh it's up here. Hold on. I have a cheer. Ooh, I have a tear in my beer, too. Oh, let me pull one out. <sighs> yep. Okay, so I have a cheer for you guys. Cheers. Like the one I used to do whenever I used to do paint night was here to it and from it and to it again because we never know when we'll be here to do it again. So cheers to that. Hmm. And that was to the old and here is to the new. Um, the greatest exercise for the heart is reaching out and lifting people up. So here's to the heart of an artist. Cheers. Good to the last drop. You ever try these? These are pretty awesome. They also have other flavors too, but this is my personal favorite because Kim Overholt, oh, loves orange. Orange is my favorite color. Oh, aha, oh. <laughs> Oh, hey, ha, ha. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it got it in there. <laughs> it went in the garbage. Yes, it's where it's supposed to be. Okay, well, like I say, it's Friday. So I'll keep it really um, quick and painless. Because, you know, I got stuff to do. I really, I'd like to stick around, but I got to do a lot of, uh, I got lots to do today. I really do. So. <sighs> okay, so yeah, hey, I got a great idea. Let me just let me just do something for you. Hold on a second. OK, 
Okay, let me... Um... Hmm. <laughs> no, I I got some uh, some things to, to to give you, but hold on a second. I'm just I'm just looking at which ones. Okay, here we go. I'll read this to you, okay? <laughs> this is something I, that, that I've uh, found. <clears throat> so, uh, I, I'll, I'll just start, okay? So, uh, here it goes like this. <laughs> See, I don't even know how to start. Okay, so, I went looking for some information to kind of help everybody to kind of get a little bit better at doing art. And uh, I found this great article, and I want to just read it to you. I'm going to read this to you, okay. Uh, Insider's Guide to Achieving Success in Art. So artists often have a unique perspective on the world and the ability to create and captivating, create captivating artwork that resonates with their audience. However, it's not always easy to achieve success in the art world. Whether you aspire to create beautiful paintings or design stunning digital art, there are always several key elements that need to be attained to achieve your goals. In this, I will show you, um, we'll explore essential mind shifts, technical skills, uh, networking strategies, and business acumen that artists need to achieve success. So this might help me too. <laughs> I'll read this to you because it'll, it'll help me for two. And you know what, I'm also thinking about making this into like a little bit of a, a little, a documentary, so we, you know, a documentary, or a little film or something that we can kind of like look at the, the major points and go through together kind of thing. So I'll just read this to you too, because I got, this won't take very long at all. Okay. <clears throat> Mind shifts in success. Which technical skills are important in the success in the art in the right mindset is crucial too. Uh, one of the most important skills that you can adopt is to see failure as a learning experience, very much so. Every artist experiences setbacks and challenges, but the most successful artists understand that these are obstacles and are part of the learning process and that growth comes with overcoming them. Uh, developing a growth mindset is another key and aspect of achieving a success in art. You should be open to feedback, willing to learn, and curious enough to want to try new techniques and new approaches. So one of the best ways to develop a technical skill necessary for success in art is to focus on mastering the basics. This may involve taking formal classes online, which are attending workshops or dedicating yourself to self-directed learning. Whichever path you choose, it's important to set goals, track your pro progress, and practice regularly. Uh, building a strong portfolio is another essential foundation, uh, indeed for success in art, choosing a specific style or niche, creating your own cohesive body of work that showcases your strengths is an effective way to establish your brand and develop a following. Like what I did when I was doing for the last, well, actually it's been for the last two, three years, I was doing, um, um, I wouldn't say, say it was um, <laughs> doing paintings and pictures of Brad Pitt, like trying, like taking a subject and doing it in different styles. And I, I did uh, like a watercolor of a Brad Pitt. I did a pencil portrait of Brad Pitt. I did a finger painting of Brad Pitt. I did a an acrylic painting of Brad Pitt. It's like, but I all kind of keep kept them in the same kind of genre kind of thing. Well, well it's all my style kind of thing, but it's good to have um, your own way of getting your strengths established and building your brand. So a strong online presence is vital for artists to seek success, succeed <laughs> to seek success. Yeah. Consider creating a professional website like I have, kimoverholt.com. <laughs> kimoverholt.com. Or using a portfolio platform like uh, Behance or Dribble to showcase your work. Now, there's something that you might take in mind. I, I already just have my website, and you're more than welcome to check it out. So 
and make sure that you use your social media profiles and, and that they're up to date and active. Now more my uh, Facebook and my Twitter. Oh, my Twitter is not up to date now anymore because I'm not playing there anymore. But if you go there, you probably see some of my artwork there too. But and uh, in Instagram and you know, on LinkedIn as well, you can go there and find some of my artwork there as well. So there's all all kinds all kinds of online presence. Uh, <clears throat> engage with other artists in the industry and professionals through collaborations, networking events, and online communities to build your relationships and expand your reach, which I have done. I have definitely done that. I meet all kinds of people from Texas to Louisiana, all the way up to uh, uh, out west to um, on the other side of the world in Germany. You know what I mean? I know all kinds of people through the kind of art that I that I do. This will enable you to gain insights and learn from others in your field, which is great. Uh, while artistic talent is initially draw, draws people to the craft, it's important to understand the business side of the art world if you hope to achieve lasting success. Uh, this involves navigating copyright laws and gaining understanding of different licensing options, such as selling your prints or licensing your work for commercial use. Uh, developing a marketing plan to reach your potential of buyers is also essential. This includes reaching out to galleries, participating in art fairs, using social media to showcase your work. Now, I've been to galleries in the past, and I've participated in art fairs in the past as well. And I've been on, I am on social media and diversing income streams by supplementing art sales with teaching or freelancing can also provide extra um, additional stability. And I love showing you by my Niagara art parties. And that's my extra, like my extra little supplement for for doing my arts and my Niagara art price because I get to paint with you. So that's always fun. <clears throat> okay. So tips and tricks from the experts. Finally, to gain even more insight to what it takes to become a successful artist, consider learning from those who have already achieved success. Talking to established artists, talking, attending talks and workshops, and following the industry's experts on social media blah, 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 <laughs> sorry, can provide a plethora of insights and tips, like, like so. So if you follow me, which is great, I'm trying to give you what I can. And I also, too, do follow a lot of successful artists like Drew Brophy and his wife, Maria, who helped me considerably with my success. I've talked to a lot of established artists and I have also gone to workshops and, and I do all of that. And I try to give you a little bit of what I know here. So I do appreciate being here too for this. And finally, uh, like I say, achieving success in art is by no means easy, but having the right mindset developing your technical skills, building a strong network, understanding the business side of art, and learning from seasoned professionals, it, you can increase your chances tenfold. The art world is ever-changing, but putting dedication, time, and effort into it, above all strategies, can go a long way in making you a successful artist. And with that being said, I want to say thank you very much for being here and paying attention to knowing about what it takes to be an artist here <laughs> in the Niagara area. And if you want to stick around and hang out with me, please subscribe. I really do like having people here. So peace out brother with a little bit added. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I got to go get busy because the weekend's going to be crazy. <laughs> so have yourself a great one. I don't want us to tell you. Uh, I've got something. I've got to, oh, you know what? Before I go, I, I'm going to be probably also doing a little bit more writing because of, like I say, what, what's going on with journalism. I was always good at journalism and I'm thinking I'm going to start writing too. So you might, I might do a little bit of uh, more stuff on what it takes to be a journalist as well as being an artist. <laughs> Who knows? We shall see. We shall see. They can't go. They can maybe get rid of all a few of us, but they can't get rid of all of us. We're all here for the good of humanity.